Good morning to all. In the wake of COVID-19 pandemic, this year our school is observing International Day of Yoga virtually. I, Sanya Parveen, President of Health Club, welcome you all for today's program. The International Day of Yoga has been celebrated annually on 21st June since 2015. The concept of International Day of Yoga was proposed by the respected Prime Minister of India, Mr. Narendra Modi. Yoga is an ancient activity and discipline. It is related to achieving physical, mental and spiritual health. It includes various postures, chants and meditation. It also includes breathing exercises. It helps us to relax and calm our mind and soul. It ensures that the body functions properly and is illness-free. The theme for International Yoga Day 2021 is Yoga for Well-Being. Here we come with speech competitions performing different yoga asanas to create awareness about the importance of yoga in daily life.
the dream is in keeping with the current advice to stay indoors as much as possible to reduce the risk of contracting highly infectious coronavirus. Here are five benefits doing yoga for health and mind. First one releases, second one improves it, third one helps you with the back pain, fourth one improves flexibility and fifth one cardio vascular benefits. On this end of the yoga day, make a new beginning by practicing yoga every day. Thank you, have a nice day. Hello everyone, my name is Afla from 6 to 8. Today, I'm here to talk to you about yoga. The art of practicing yoga helps to control an individual's mind, body and soul. It brings together physical and mental disciplines to achieve a peaceful mind and body. It helps to manage stress, anxiety and keep to relax. It also helps in increasing flexibility, muscle strength and skin tone. It improves respiration, energy and vitality. Practicing yoga might seem like just stretching. But you can do much more for your body from the way how you feel. The act of yoga consists of many forces known as asanas. Yoga asanas build strength, flexibility, and confidence. Regular practice of yoga can help you lose sleep, relieve stress, improve immunity, reduce the risk of heart diseases, reduce the risk of memory loss, improve athletic performance, improve sleep, improve posture, improve like the capacity to the brain and create a healthy life. Yoga is an invaluable gift of India's ancient tradition and is a holistic approach for health and well-being. I would like to conclude my words by sharing some thoughts about yoga by the famous yoga teacher who is known as Nikhilis Ayyengar. Yoga does not transform the way how we see things. It transforms the person The rhythm of the body, the melody of the mind, the harmony of the soul, created the symphony of life. Yoga is the golden key that unlocks the door to peace. Time quickly and gently. Stay home, stay safe, stay healthy, practice yoga, thank you and have a nice day. Hello, a cheerful good morning to every last one of you present over here. I'm Shamsia from 7C. So, today I'm here before you to share some thoughts on yoga. So friends, do you know what is yoga? Mm, yes, it is. Yoga is a beautiful practice that is linked to all aspects named physical, spiritual and mental. If you are getting bored, you just go and practice yoga because it gives a bundle of benefits. The practice of yoga became more and more popular these days because why you know it? It has lots of merits. So guys, can you list some uses of yoga? Okay. It builds energy to work and stay active and also helps us in achieving clarity in life. It can be seen as a single medicine to cure many diseases. It also enhances the thoughts and keeps us cool. It's not just an exercise, it overall makes us more positive, energetic, happy and effective. In this busy life, yoga can act to relieve many stresses. Let me conclude with what is said in Bhagavad Gita. A yoga is journey to the self, through the self, to the self. Much thank you to all of you. Hope you liked it and enjoyed it. Stay home, stay safe. Have a great day. And that was day to one and hour. I am Uncle Dastalin of 8B from Mount Sinai Public Schools. Yoga is an ancient, physical, mental and spiritual practice that originated in India. They are due to Dublin, Shanghai to Chicago, Jakarta to Johannesburg, Himalayan Highlands or Sunburn Deserts. Yoga is enriching millions of lives all over the world. While many powers in the world divide us, yoga unites us. It gives peace to an individual instead of further animosity yoga assimilates. The recognizing its universal appeal on 11 December 2014, the United Nations proclaimed 21 June as the International Day of Yoga. The International Day of Yoga 
aims to raise awareness worldwide about the benefits of practicing yoga. This year, we have the theme of yoga is Yoga at Home and Yoga with Family. Today, it's practiced in various forms around the world and continues to grow in popularity. Respect judges, teachers, and all my dear friends. A warm good morning to one and all. Today, I'm going to speak a few words about the importance of yoga in modern life. Yoga is a gift of an ancient Indian. This is not only the ancient form of exercise, but also it's a part of ancient Indian lifestyle, which involved thousands of years back in the Indian society and is being practices continuously since then. It is related to mental and physical fitness to our body, which prevents us from various forms of disabilities and diseases. It develops for meditation, which keeps our mind and body relaxed. Nowadays, yoga has not been popular worldwide, but it has joined our daily life activity. Since last 15 years, Yoga has recovered many people from all over the world and replaced medicine for our daily life. Yoga is considered a career in years. There are so many possibilities to do jobs in the world. Several universities added yoga as a subject. Approximately 2 billion people from all over the world practices yoga. Indians have known the importance of yoga from decades and from last many years. The whole world is talking, practicing, adopting yoga and its new benefits. They have known the importance and power of yoga over the period of time. The other reason to adopt yoga by various persons and countries because of their stressful life, busy life and fitness problems. There are various forms of yoga that can be done by a person during their births. A housewife can do yoga when she is in the kitchen. An office man can practice yoga when he is in his office. I hope you all have understood the importance of yoga in modern life. Thank you and have a nice day. We cannot always control what goes on outside, but we can always control what goes on inside. A very warm good morning to one and all. Best wishes for International Yoga Day. I asked from 10th standard here in front of you to say a few words about International Day of Yoga and the importance of yoga in modern life. First of all, International Day of Yoga 2021 has been celebrated on 21st June globally after announcement made by the United Nations General Assembly in the year 2014. On proposal of Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi, United Nations General Assembly unanimously agreed to celebrate 21st June as International Yoga Day every year. The first International Day of Yoga was celebrated in the year 2015. The aim and objective to celebrate yoga globally is to achieve global health and wellness. India believes in Vasudeva Kudupakam means world is one family and Sarve Pavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Santu Niramaya means may all be at peace, may no one suffer from illness. This goal of healthy life can achieved only by understanding the core strength of yoga, following yoga and practicing yoga. Our modern life tempts us with comfort and to make it more comfortable and convenient, we pay for it with obesity, hypertension and cardiac problems. Although we have high-tech medical facilities, we are still leading a stressful, unhealthy and unstable life. In this situation, yoga can bring peace to our body, mind, soul and add more to our life. The importance of yoga in modern life is abundant. Yoga teaches the knowledge of how to live a healthy living. It improves our concentration, creativity, and sharpens our mind. In the middle of hustle and bustle in the modern life, our emotional stability declines day by day. But you can help to prevent it. Thank you all. Stay home, stay safe, practice yoga, stay healthy. A very good morning to Ananda. 
Yoga Day is celebrated every year on June 21st. It was started by our Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi. Yoga is a process in which man tries to bring his mind, body and soul together. Yoga is the only process in which you can exercise without any equipment. With yoga, you can increase the flexibility of your body. If a person does yoga for 20 to 30 minutes daily, then his body does not get tired throughout the day. By doing this, anxiety does not come. Diseases like mental stress and hypotension remain away from the body. To conclude, I would like to say that to have a healthy and harmonious life, it is good to practice yoga. Thank you. It is health that is the real wealth, not pieces of gold and silver. A very warm good morning to all the respected persons present here. I am Risa Fatima of 10th Standard, here before you to speak a few words on World Yoga Day. First of all, I am wishing you a very good and healthy World Yoga Day. Human beings are made up of mainly three elements which are the mind, body and soul. Similarly, in order to satisfy the needs of these three, we need knowledge, health and inner peace respectively. As we know, health is a physical need whereas knowledge is the psychological need of ours. When we talk about inner peace, we see it refers to the spiritual need and we feel harmonious only when all three are present. Further, there is also the benefit of self-healing in this spiritual exercise. Therefore, we see that daily yoga is so beneficial to us. We can learn it through professional classes or online tutorials which are easily available these days. It will definitely help you lead a healthier life and are a great alternative to medical treatment for daily problems. It is better for everyone to practice yoga for a harmonious lifestyle. Thank you. Have a nice day. Let me first thank all the participants of today's program. Without their sincere effort, the success of the program is unimaginable. Next, let me thank our school management committee members, principal, vice principal, headmistress, section heads, parents for their cooperation. Last but not the least, let me thank the class teachers of all classes for their timely action and their cooperation. I, on behalf of Health Club, thank each and every one of you for your wholehearted support. Thank you once again.